Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sai. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention please? We are sorry to announce that the next Siren Trains Railway Journeys has been cancelled. This is due to the current situation. Hello there, Simon Trains here, or some people like to call me Simon Trains. Now I'm standing in this area, well I was walking but now I'm standing in this area because this is the track bed of the old Burton Colliery Line. And about this side here there's some like um, grassland, there used to be like sidings there. Because um, this is part of the Burton Raven Hill Way, which is a footpath. Do not come down here when it rains because it's muddy as hell this part but we've had some nice weather and absolutely it's been nice down here. Now I could probably give you some insight of this uh, line but I am waiting for a book to arrive on Brayton Collieries because Collieries is not really my strong point but um, the track bed of this which uh, went off in that direction actually diverted off this side here went straight onto the main line that way onto the Canic Minimal Railway which is today's chase line. Now as you can see, well you can't see because I haven't um, got the camera on it, is now just arriving at Rushi Town Station on foot. Rushi Power Station is right behind me. Good view though. So this is Rushi Town's car park and the station is just up there. We're going onto the platform to film the 1323 to Burger International and I'm going to carry on walking to reach the Trent Valley Station to fill some trains in the afternoon. This railway station is completely deserted. Now I'm going to go to platform two and film the 1324 out to Bergen International. Train's coming now, so we just go film it down the bottom here. So, that was London North Western Railway, class 350-0, 350-259. Apparently it's only going to Bergen New Street. I thought they'd go back to Bergen International. But that was the um, 1323 departure, not the 1324, as I said. Anyway, now that we see the train at Rooster Town, we're going to go to Rooster Trent Valley and spend an hour or two down there, looking at some trains that are passing. There's nothing really special going through Rooster Trent Valley this afternoon, it's just... Go there, see what shows up and leave. That's it basically. But on the way we might show you somewhere else. Behind me is Rushi bus station. Now before I go to Trent Valley, I'm actually going to go somewhere A B for donkey shirts to be honest. And that's um, just right here. This is um Elmore Park. I'm just gonna have a quick look around here. As you can see there's a bus coming in there. And then we're going to go to Rooster Trent Valley Railway Station.
hope you enjoyed that visit to Elmore Park. Now just coming down the B5013 which is Elmore Lane, which is just behind me here. Up there takes you to the bus station at Elmore Park. Now I'm making my way down to Mooshu Trent Valley Station now. But uh, before I do, I actually do want to mention a quick comment because uh, PAS Montreal, who commented on the first walk of did, says I look like a tour guide. To be honest though, I'm not actually trying to be a tour guide, it's just something to fill in the boys between the trains, but hopefully you enjoy them to be honest. And to be honest, I did actually enjoy my little walk down Elmore Park. Because it's been donkey year since I've been there, literally. That's how I was there, probably a teenager child. So it's a good 20 years at least. Now I'm on the Walsey Road, but unfortunately I have to take a little diversion here because I've got to cross this road. As you can see, it's not the best of roads to cross. But the Rooster Trail Valley Station is that way. Actually, we can cross now, yeah, we can cross now safely. So I'll get some few, what they call B-roll shots, with some music in the background. On my way to Rooster Trail Valley Station. So I just missed out on that freight train. Uh, one thing I do want to say is I actually do want to explore somewhere up in that direction one day. So you can get a good view of the power station from there or something like that. It can be done but I just don't know where if the path is public or not. I think it is. But anyway, just on the approach to the route, Valley Railway Station now. So yes, I did miss a freight train but I did film it on the road. You heard some idiots go woo woo try to mock me, well, it don't work. Plus, do you hate that? I will actually mention this now, right? When you see a diesel train pass, when people go, woo-hoo, at a diesel train, it's like, do you just really want to have a go at them, or just grind your gears a little bit because it's not a steam loco? Because sometimes I do get that, to be honest. And um, we just missed the pedal, you know? But um, yeah, we're at Rooster Trent Valley Station now and we're just going to have a look this afternoon, see what's around, see what's passing, see what's arriving, and that's it really.
I'm now at Rouge Trev Valley and to be honest there's hardly anything coming through today there's nothing special like I say we've just come to see what was um, passing through that was it but to get 350408 which was on the rear of the 5005 to London Euston there is a freight train to come through which will be 66063 which is a DB cargo one but it's in the old EWS livery and that's a valley really. there's not really been much but it's still nice to come up here what I have noticed is though and I'll show you this in a minute is that Rugey Trent Valley is now a social distance station and I'll show you what they've done to Rugey Trent Valley shortly but first let's fill some more trains As you can see here, we've got an X on the floor. Now what they've done is at Rooney Trev Valley is that they literally put X's all across the platform down here. Because this is basically two meters apart, the next X is two meters apart. So they have social distance Rooney Trev Valley Railway Station. The only problem is though, on platform two, the X's stop right here. Even though platform two do get used by passengers, there's no X is going down further to Wairuji stand to fill trains. All the uh, benches at Rouge Trev Valley Station also got these signs on saying you've got to be social distance on the bench. I think you might be able to sit two people on this bench, but I guess it may be only one. At the stairs at Rouge Trev Valley you've got to keep left. So basically you've got to walk up this side of the stairs and not this side of the stairs. This side to come down they decide to come up, but to be honest, there's no one here, so you can just walk wherever you want, but they have to tell you to keep left though. We're now in the platform one and two shelter at Trent Valley Station. Now they have done social distancing in this waiting shelter. As you can see behind me, there is um see marks are crossed out. I'll zoom it in now. But you can see basically you can sit there. Ooh, sit there. You can't sit there, you can't sit there, you can't sit there, you can't sit there, but you can sit there. That is two metres. And it also says that one person only uses this bench at one time, which is basically that bench there. And then one person has to use that bench there, so basically there's only two people that can be in this waiting shelter. And also they have got the um, social distancing posters here, as we can just see outside here now. Social distancing two metres apart.
We're now on platform three at Rouge Trevet. As you can see, it's still the same here. They are still um, X's on the floor, so you have to be social distance. It's the same in the waiting rooms down there as well, and the seats here. Now, we did get a few freight trains through here, which was brilliant, but they're just the average freight day runners that usually come through here. There's now special. But uh, it was nice to see the last one we got, 6K50. I'll repeat that again, sorry, 6K50 which had 66525 on, which had a crane. That goes from Toton to Crew. There is a Pedalino right behind me. Just a white one. And, like I said, we did get Toton to Crew, which is 6K50. At one point, that used to be a DB runner, I think. And then it was like GBRF and now Freightliner. I remember when GBRF had it, they did run 47s and 20s on it for a bit. Anyway though, I think we're going to be leaving Bruce Trev Valley now and head back home. So I'll probably put a few B-roll shots in now and then we're going to Rouge finish off at the town centre. <laughs> I'm now in the town centre at Rouge, as you can see the building behind me here is actually a pub called the Shrew. Now that used to be called the Tolbert Arms because I'll have to uh, read this off the phone but I'll put it all over here now is that um, there was a murder in that pub. Now a guy called John Palmerson Cook died in the Tolbert Arms which later became the Shrew's Arms which later became the Shoe. Now he was actually murdered by the Rougie Poisoner. Now his name was Dr. William Palmer, which was born on the 6th of August 1824. He was hanged in Stafford on the 14th of June 1856. But that's where um, Dr. Palmer murdered somebody, that building there, that white one. Anyway, just go a bit further up and then we're just going to end the blog. We just had the car park at Rougie Town Station. I did film a trade in that way. And to be honest, it was absolutely rubbish. As you can see, Rougie Town car park just there. The 350 just departed for Boeing International. That's the 1723, I think. But I think it's time to end the blog now because we did walk quite, well, we didn't walk much, but we walked it from Rougie Town. Then I went to Elmore Park. Had a quick walk around there. Then we walked down to Rouge Trev Valley. We actually had a good couple of hours at Trev Valley, to be honest. We got Pendolinos, we got 350 to zeros, and we got Freight, which was an okay afternoon, but there was nothing special on them, apart from 6K50, which had a crane. So I think that's it, really. And then I've just come back to Rouge Town to end this blog. I'm actually going to be walking along the Burton Corrie line, which is just uh, this way. But um, by the time this video goes up, I think it's the end of May. So on June the 1st, they're saying that um, markets, outdoor markets and car dealerships are opening up. Which is good for them. Also on the 15th of June, 
some non-essential shops are reopening, which is good. But um, unfortunately, actually it's just a runner here, so I'll pop over here for a second. So about his way. As you can see, there's a nice view of Ruji Power Station there with some houses. But unfortunately though, non-essential travel ain't gonna be happening in June. So in June, I'll still be um, doing these walking blogs, to be honest. Right, he's gone past so I could um, walk up now. Because to be honest, you can't really social distance buff down here. This is, you can't be two metres apart down here. But like I said, this is actually part of the Brit and Colin I'm walking on now. Uh, that blog is going to be my big project in June. So it will be done in June. Don't know when and when. I've just got to wait for a book at the moment to be delivered. But um, we shall be walking this night in June. Even though I'm actually going back home this way, I'm not actually going to be doing nothing on the Burrito Corrie line. But as I say, so we, I think we'd look about July before we could get back on the trains, do the railway journeys as planned. Fingers crossed, but I don't know. So for the next month of June, it's just going to be walking blogs. So that's the whole of June, walking blogs. Um, however, like I said, July, we may go back on the trains. It may not yet. But anyway, I'm going to end this now. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this blog. Hopefully you see some of the good trades that were in action. Uh, hope you enjoyed the round Elbow Park, especially the rabbits. Those rabbits were cute. So this blog now is going to be terminating on the Britain Collier line, by the former track bed. Thank you for walking with Simon Trades, and we'll see you for the next one, wherever that will be. Stay safe and keep well.